Yuki and John, Patreon the bird. All right, Yuki. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we are back. We always keep coming back. We're like yes. herpes. We keep coming Come back. Keep <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of herpes. Herpes. Um, can you get that checked at a hospital? Like, how do you get your herpes checked? I never had herpes or a scare of herpes. Well, well, well I think uh, uh, if you do blood test, yeah, they will find it, I think. Okay. So, maybe I've had herpes for like 30 years and I just didn't know. No, I'm thinking. Well, no, I no. If, if if you positive, they they will find they if find you did, it. because uh, when they do blood test, not just uh, cholesterol or blood sugar. Right. They check everything. I think mm. HIV, heart. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, so. I because yeah, I did te- um, uh, STD testing when I was single, uh-huh. and uh, never never got any of that shit. And uh, but that was more of a clinic because. But today's topic is hospitals. Hospital, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you suggested this topic. Yes. And your original topic suggestion was mental hospital. Right. Mental hospital. But oh. I didn't want to come out swinging with mental hospital. I wanted to have it be hospitals in general. Right. Because I've had more experience with those. Oh. Although, you never know in the future, I might end up in a, the loony bin. Right. You never, never know. <laughs> never know. But yeah. in hospitals, I've had experiences. But you've had experience in... Mental hospital. Mental hospital. This is like uh, weird experience. Uh, what happened was, friend of mine, you know, he was working. Uh, he was an architect, so he was with, you know, this uh, architecture firm, and then he called me, Yuki. Well, there's a, you know, I have a project. It's in the field work. I have to inspect. Handicap, uh, you know, regulation, those, uh, right. you know, like American Disability Act was established in 1994 or something. And, okay. then, and then they said, well, you know, what do you mean inspect them? I don't know anything about it. So don't worry about it. So I went to this farm and then, you know, th- I took the lecture. So I don't have, I didn't have a license, but there is a sheet you know what you what you check and then what's supposed so you, to be. So there. you have it, it's the regulations are like how high things have to be. Right, like a, a, the 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 angle s- to, you know, of yeah, the ramp, the okay. ramp, hoil chair ramp. So you, you know, turn you, would, you yeah. would inspect it or you would right. checklist. Right, I, so I, I had a checklist. Okay. So then I just write it down, right? So what was the day to day work like? You, the, you the, the every day, you know, like uh, full time. I did that For like about ten, 10 months. 10 months. And then I went to all over those uh, hospital. I think like a five, six hospital in 10 months. Whoa. But the, the, the thing is, then he said, Yuki, you starting working and next Monday, go this hospital. So I went to that hospital on that Monday morning. And then I, I was standing this. This doesn't look like a hospital. Like, what is this? Or, you know, barbed wire fence oh. and then gate. And I called him like, hey, I'm standing at this uh, address and this doesn't look like a hospital. It looks like a prison. And then he goes, oh, Yuki, well, actually, it's a mental hospital slash prison. <laughs> <laughs> he tricked me <gasps> because he saw, hey, Yuki does movie production. So he, he doesn't, you know, he knows how to work in the field. That's why he did, you know, those suits and tie. Nobody wanted to go inspect this prison slash hospital. Yeah. So he picked me and then sent it to me. He tricked me. Holy shit. Yeah, so I, I went there. Now, you know, the, the, the dog, the guard dog, all the security, they checking those mirror, you know, <laughs> under the my car, and this is a double gate, you know, car get in, get in, get close, in, close it. it, check, then another gate open, get. holy shit, that was like a serious, serious prison. Oh my God. So then I went to uh, administration office, and then, you know, some paperwork, and then this guy came, he's a uh, escort, escort, and they said, what is this place, is this hospital? Oh, 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 a prison. He goes, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's <laughs> is a, it a hospital or a prison? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so 
so they said it's basically mental hospital prison. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, oh my God. So, so what do you mean mental hospital? Then the guy goes, Yuki, so when patient attack, excuse me, they said, they, if, in, in case they attacked you, just run. That's what they told me. What do you mean? Like you go, well, these are uh, 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 patients, they are basically child molester killers and murderers and those crazy people. And then some of them are really insane. But some clever criminal, they pretended to be a mentally ill. So instead of going regular prison, oh. he, they can come here and then having a good time every day. <laughs> so? So then they said... They're the, having you, a good time. Good time. So <laughs> whatever they do, they go... That should be a TV show, Good Times at the <laughs> Mental Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> they, you, you have to run. Like, well, what if, if... Because if I punch them to... to save yourself? Defense, yeah. I'm the one go to the prison because what? Why this I explained to you because I abuse the mentally ill people. Oh, so shit. I have no right. They have a better right. So if they try to do, even kill me, yeah, I have to run. I can't punch them. I can kick them because I go. Then you abuse the. Uh, I'm uh, abusing the mentally patient. Whoa! So I say, holy shit! No wonder he tricked me. So I worked that kind of place. I went to, I think, five, six hospitals, all California mental hospital for 10 months. Pay Holy was good, shit. but I was working this close. Killers, murderers, child molesters, rapists, and I was with them this close every day for 10 months. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, well, day one, what day happened? One. You walked in, you got in through the gate, the double gate. <laughs> then what did they do? So they frisked so, you? So you yeah, yeah, so... They told uh, you the, the regulations? The, the regulation, and then, then, you know, then, you know, it's called, you, whatever happens, you know, just run. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> but then, you know, it's okay, and then... You, you start know, to get start into to it. Get so what did you it. have to do? Did they, did they have, like, did you find infractions on the regulations that they, they yeah some fix. of them you know they need the new ramp or some place needs a, a handrail and then those are fine but what's amazing is uh, you know those mental hospitals some of them are young you know teenager and then you know some of them I, I had a tool so kids coming in what's this what are you doing just like regular kids, right? Yeah. I mean, I said that. Yeah. What is this? What's that? You know, the moment my mom says, Yuki, don't touch it, I'm already touching, grab. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a kid thing. And then, you know, this kids, you know, like a kids area, you know, kids. Uh, oh, there was mental kids too? Oh, yeah. Really? And then, you know. One, oh, I, so, one, wait, so they have in the same hospital a kid's wing and an adult wing? That's uh, another story I have. Oh, my God. So, I was doing and these kids coming and then, you know, what's this, what's that? And then, you know, instructor or nurse, doctor says, hey, don't do that. He's working. I said, don't worry, you know, kids, that he, just He's, the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did one time, the nurse says, don't do it. He didn't listen. But it's a kid, right? Yeah. Next moment, she clipped this some kind of signal, whole alarm going off, one, 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 then five, six, nurse came, took him, put it there, straight jacket. Oh my God. Because he didn't listen to the nurse. How old was this kid? He was like a 13, 14 years Holy old. Holy shit. And I said, well, you don't have to do that. He's just being a kid. No, he didn't listen. So, you know, next moment, next room, the, the, he, he was in the straight jacket and like this. And then the strap is, you know, leather thing. Oh, my God. And then, holy shit, I think that's all about doing it. Then, you know, I went to one side and came back. I look at him. He was, his, his eyes like this. They did. Oh, they put the drugs on him? Holy shit, Yuki. 
that was like always happening. And then I said, well, what the hell is this? I mean, what, why you did that? He didn't do anything. That the two reasons. One, they demonstrate if they don't listen, this is what's going to happen. This is going to happen. Yeah. Number two, if they use those uh, tests, so a test they, on who the kid? Because of the medicine, how this works, they can test it. So they get the money from the medis medical. Oh. So the, this is about the circling. Once they get in, there's no way out because the whole hospital, I may get killed because if government find out. What I'm saying it. Wait, you are saying that the government's going to come after you for what you're saying on this well, podcast? Because this is a state hospital. It's a government facility. Did you sign an NDA? I, I think I signed something. <laughs> All right, so we won't say the exact name of the hospital, right? And we will. Uh, we'll, this for this episode, your name is. Uh, Mikey Nakamura. Okay, yes. So they but they won't get you because they won't know Mikey Nakamura. He never worked for the. So, the, the, the number of patient that how get the money. So, okay, so yeah, there's there's a racket going. The, right. the more patients, the more they test the drugs, right. the more they buy the drugs from the thing, the thing, the pharmaceutical so, companies. Yeah. So so there's no healing because if, if they let go. They lose money. Right, so they want to keep people Yeah, so more is and, better. Yes. That kind of stuff is happening. In the system, because in they'll the make system. more money with right. more people in the system. Holy shit, and then, and then, Mikey, and then, Mikey, sorry. You, not Yuki, Mikey, Mikey. Yeah. Mikey. <laughs> and then there's the wrong episode, right? Yeah. And then another episode that, that, that you know, when I was walking the hallway, no dog piling, no dog piling. What the hell is dog piling? No dog piling? No dog piling. Uh -huh. And then, I, I, so you know, there's a, 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 a playing room or a TV room or you know. Are these the kids or the kids adults? Are, right, kids. The, the, the okay. Teenager. Teenager. So I went there. Everybody's naked. What? And then they piled up, rubbing each other. It's called the dog piling. It's like a this high. Yuki, now I need the drugs from the mental hospital to erase my memory of what you just told me. Wait, you're telling me that a bunch of kids under the underage right. would strip their clothes off and dogpile on each other in a mental hospital and you, unfortunately, were there. Right. What the fuck kind of job is this, Yuki? Your friend tricked you. I would say that's a criminal act of him getting you to be in this fucking place. I was inspecting a handicap regulation. So you're just like... Hmm. This uh, this this bar needs to be raised by six yeah. inches, uh, seven yeah, inches, we and need then all of a sudden, here. yeah, this uh, you know wheelchair lamp needs this angle, not yeah. that angle. Yeah, I was that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, dog piling. Dog piling. What yeah. the fuck, Yuki? What the fuck? <laughs> the other thing. Okay, I was in the yard. I right? mean, Mikey. Sorry, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey. This is crazy, Mikey. Then you know that yeah, they're having sex. Who? Those patients. The kids? Kids. Oh, what you the know. fuck? I said, why don't you stop there? It's their right. They can't stop it. It's, it's their right? Because Wait, but so the guy can't fucking uh, ask you about tools, but when they're boning, it's their right? That their right. Because hospital doesn't have a right to stop them. If they're having sex, it's their right to have sex. So I say, well, then what happens? They don't, they don't have a protection. They have a baby. Yeah. You know what this baby goes? Where? You have to. Uh, you have to. That's why. You wait, wait, wait. It, you, you, to edit it? You want me to edit this? I don't know. I mean, that's. I don't. Ah. I don't want to get killed. You're not Mikey. You, nobody's gonna kill you, Mikey. Everything's fine. You're you're safe. You're under the protection of uh, 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 John Breadman. This baby has to go somewhere, right? Yeah. They can't kill baby, right? No, they can't just kill the babies, no. The, the, they, 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 they go black market. On so the they, black market? Yeah. So they're taking the mental baby hospital babies. And then they go to the black market, then this rich family from the Bibali Hills try they to adopt them? the baby. <gasps> they adopt it, but they have no idea these that it's the baby coming the... from mental hospital. 
they don't know baby. That's how Freddy Krueger got born. Yeah, they don't know this baby's father is a rapist. Baby's mother is a uh, the drug addict hooker. Holy they don't know that. Shit. And then and then about twenty years ago, this black girl got killed in Las Vegas. Nine ten years old black girl. Okay. Got killed, raped and killed in the toilet in Las Vegas. Oh my god. The guy who did it was that kind of baby. <laughs> It's like an M. Night Shyamalan twist. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> he was that so, kind of baby. <laughs> so it's, it's true. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm only laughing because this is so fucking out there. I can't believe that this is real. Like It's, it's real because I was there. And then, and then the guy who is escorting me, he is black. And then his name is Martin Luther King. <laughs> No joke. He showed it to me his uh, his uh, <laughs> no, driver's you're license. You're making this up. You're making no, this I'm up. No, I'm not making this up. No. So you're okay. So you're. Let's break this down. You you got tricked into working at a <laughs> mental hospital yeah. by a friend, the supposed yeah. friend, <laughs> and you were re- you were working on regulation. How did you go? Hold on. How did you go from working in the entertainment industry into regulating wheelchair heights and things? Well, like because. <laughs> That was after a theme park project. So, you know, it's kind of... Well, I was working Measuring with... Measuring. Uh, yeah, yeah, architecture. Okay, so you got offered a money situation where they're right. like, it's money short term, but yeah. you can make some money. Okay. So, so okay, so you, you went from that to right. measuring and then children... Uh, dog piling, and then and, uh, th- this was what uh, is this? You heard? This is they gave it to me when the hospital gave oh it to me. Oh my god! It's so it's you okay? What I've got have right here, Yuki's keychain, and on there is like a circular sort of dog tag kind of thing. Right, uh, because in case I die, yeah, they know it. <laughs> that's on the keychain, and it says Mikey. Not no, it says Nakamura Mikey. Mikey. Mikey, yeah. Uh, but it really is. It's crazy. It's like a silver dollar. On your keychain, that's from that place. Yeah. Holy shit. This is crazy, Mikey. I'm fucking flabbergasted that this is real. So Martin Luther King was your sidekick, right? In the mental hospital, right? Where they were having sex and selling the babies on the black market, and right. then they go out and kill people in Vegas, right? Um, you also what? What else? What about the adults? Did they have any crazy shit that they did? Yeah. Well, this this nurse. She was very pretty. <laughs> I think he was... Uh, Just keeps getting uh, weirder and weirder. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know why this female was peeing in men's room, right? What? The female nurse? Yeah. Would go in the men's room? Yeah. So actually, she was he. Oh, okay. So they're transgender? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Then... <laughs> <laughs> I found out this later, and he had the operation, mm. and then and then and then nobody knew he had the operation. So later he had no penis, right? Right. She Yuki. Let's she, be proper. No, she, she. He became a she. <laughs> yeah. And then hospital. Somebody hospital. I don't know. You know, I didn't work, but this is my escort told me. Escorts? Yeah. You're paying for Martin sex? Martin Luther King. Oh, oh, him. Okay, not yeah. an escort. Okay. He told, he told me. Your sidekick. S- somebody in the office fell in love with him. Her. Her. <laughs> and nobody told him. Her. She no, was her. Him, him before. Oh, he, right. Okay, right. I see. Oh, okay. So so that was, that was, there was a, um. A miscommunication or a trick? I guess purposely nobody told him. Wow. I guess okay. Nobody liked so what him. happened when he found out? Well, actually, he didn't until somebody told him. Right. Then I think uh... <laughs> <laughs> he went to the mental hospital. Yeah. <laughs> you not... kidding? <laughs> You're joking. That's really what no, happened. I don't... He, he kind of, you know, he, flipped and then he went to the... 
So what the guy the who fuck? was working in the mental hospital went to his own mental hospital <laughs> because nobody told him the girl he was dating was he before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, yeah, God, this is the okay. This is the really insane. Crazy. It's insane because not only are the patients insane, it sounds like the people who work there are insane too. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, Yuki, you are the most sane person in the room, and that's <laughs> saying something. I have more story. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, One day, okay. <laughs> this kid came, you know, and then and, and, and he, he tried to shake. And then Martin shake your hand? Luther, yeah, okay. Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> He's, Yuki, don't, don't touch him. <laughs> so what happened was he was just jerking off. Wait, what? The kid was jerking off, then tried to shake your hand yeah. with the semen in it? Yeah. Oh. So if, if Martin Luther King didn't stop me, I was shaking it. So. Oh, this is too bizarre. I, I can't believe this is real. Yeah. So wait, Martin Luther King, did he look like Martin Luther King? Or was he... No, he uh, was a black guy, and then, you know, he was... I don't think he was looking at you, but this is a funny story. Okay, keep going. He, he, he he said keep the, getting better. <laughs> well, Yuki, you know, I, I'm a, he really didn't know how close, but he was related to the Martin Luther King. So Martin Luther King was related to Martin Luther King, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Martin and Luther then, King and Jr. Then, <laughs> he didn't win, but he tried to be a mayor of Los Angeles once. Oh shit! He didn't win though, but he he he, he, he ran. He, he ran as a Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> Did you support him? Did you vote for no, him? No, that was a before. Oh oh oh! Wait, no, no, so no. he tried to be the mayor first and then went to the mental hospital to work. Right, and then he was my escort. So, but actually, he was a kind of a janitor, pain. You know, he fixed the hospital. You know, he's a handyman. Handyman, sure, yeah, yeah. Handyman mayor. Yeah, but he was happy to escort him because, you know, only he has to do is stay with me all day. And that's it. So he that, just makes sure you're then, okay. Oh, this is another. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Okay. Working this eight hours a day. Actually, it's not really eight hours. Okay. In my mind, you know, the eight hours, right? Yeah. It start eight o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah. One o'clock, uh, twelve o'clock, and the one hour break. Right. Then one to five, so eight to five, nine hours, including one hour lunch, right? Okay. Actually, there's no eight hours. We go eight o eight o'clock. Well, of course, you know, I like to start eight, so seven thirty, seven forty-five. I'm always there, right? Yeah. Oh no. He show up 8 o'clock. He never been late. That's good. 8 o'clock, sharp. He show up in, in, in those, uh, you know, dressing room, a green room. Yeah. Uh, break room. Fast. He started drink, you know, changing clothes. We didn't leave until 8.30. To get the, you know, whatever we work in, hospital compound is big, big right? Yeah. So... We if we work in this building from break place to get there ten what, minutes, ten fifteen minutes, minutes okay. easily. Great. Sometimes takes twenty minutes to get the building. So we start walking around eight thirty to get there eight forty five, then start working nine, right? Yeah. And and then ten thirty. Break time, fifteen minutes break. But he, we have to come back here to do the break. So another fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, walk travel down back, and get here, and then break fifteen minutes, then go back another ten fifteen minutes. <laughs> so fifteen minutes break takes forty five minutes. <laughs> so. I told him, like, okay, you know, can we just uh, take a break wherever we are? Why do we have to go back to the uh, break room? Yeah, break yeah, room? yeah, yeah. 
this is what he said. Well, this is a union rule. We have to take a break in the break room. And then, you know, I'm just following the rule. <laughs> if, you, if you don't like the way we work, complain to him. He pointed at this president face in the wall. What president at the time? Uh, 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 Bush. Bush. The older the father, or the, old the, the father, father, father Bush. Father Bush. Holy shit. So, think about it. I mean, 15 minutes break takes 45 minutes. Then another one hour break takes around 30 minutes. So, so you're working 12 minutes a day. <laughs> yeah. So, around 30, around, uh, around 30 minutes in the morning, the break, and then around 30 minutes lunch break, then another around 30 minutes in the afternoon break. So, four hours and 30 minutes in break time. So, literally, we working three hours and 30 minutes a day. Holy shit. That, well, that sounds pretty good. That sounds like when I was a janitor, that, that, I would get my work done. That's why he was happy yeah. escorting me. Yeah. Because... You get my work done in get, three hours, and then yeah. the five hours I would play basketball, read, fucking eat, whatever, just hang. It was great. So you, you had a... That was pretty nice. But wait, did it impede your work, though? You didn't get work done fast enough. Like No, because, yeah, yeah we... I mean... I want to work eight hours a day, not the three and yeah, a half hours because you a probably day. could have finished a month earlier right. if you had <laughs> worked more time. So, oh, this is how union works, right? I mean, blame George Bush. Yeah, oh my God. this is what the, yeah, you, you know, don't don't complain to me if you don't like if you don't like the way we work. Talk to him and read my uh, lips. Read Coffee my lips. in the break room. Yeah, fucking I'm crazy. Really That's bubble. one of the craziest. Okay, so any other insane bizarre i mean i am never gonna get over what you've told me today this is fucking crazy i mean what the fuck yuki the, uh, some know, of these images are gonna be burned in my psyche forever it, it is like really fucked. i mean was it fucked for you after you left i mean what was okay so you went through this whole shit and what was the last day were you like saying goodbye to people did you make friends with some of the people no i don't want to deal with you I'm don't want to deal happy well i think uh, i started with uh, uh california then i ended up with uh, uh sonoma there's a uh, one hospital in uh Up. in sonoma sonoma county county okay so i was there so I but mean, is that less stressful than this one? Or was it the same kind of thing? It's the same kind of... I mean, it's all the same state hospital. So. Oh, I see, I see. So, you, okay, so... But what was your last day like there? Were you like, get me the fuck out of here? Did you go running? Oh, yeah, it's like a run, you know, like happy bye, goodbye, I can never come back. Wow. Yeah, because, again, besides those uh, Martin Luther King, I mean, I don't know what a face-to-face and... Killers and murderers and child molester, rapist, you know, drug addict, whole prostitute. I mean, you know, this close. Oh my God! Every day. Jesus Christ. Five days a week. Wow. What else? Any other crazy things happen while you were there? Was it haunted? I, on top of all this, tell me the fucking mental hospital was haunted. There's a there's a one guy eight thirty. Or 8.45, every single day, same time, this guy Scream. screaming and then and, and some weird language. Not the English, not Japanese. Gibberish. Some something. Something. At 8.45 uh, in the morning, every day. Uh, every day, I mean, I can't remember. But <laughs> Amazing things. He doesn't have clock, right? Uh-huh. He just knows his internal he clock. He knows <laughs> exactly the same time. I don't wow. know how. Wow. I, I guess his body knows. His and body then, is used to it, yeah. And then he goes up a uh, water tower and then does that. Water tower? Yeah. What do you mean water tower? There's a water tower? Yeah, there's a water tower. And they let the fucking patients climb it? Yeah, well, because that's why some uh, real criminal wants to come to uh, mental hospital. It's because it's freedom. He can have sex with the female patient. <laughs> no, but the water tower is even more bizarre than the sex. There's just a water tower there that they let them go up the ladder. Dangerous it's patients. Yeah, it's like a yard. You know, it's there. And just climb it? Climb it. And then scream off the top? Yeah. 
what if they jump? They, they, they is there no protection? Like what the fuck? That's so weird. <laughs> to have a water tower that the patients are allowed to climb. He was doing it every day. Mikey Nakamura. Would be still screaming your so name. So that was the Gadiri Gadiri weird. Wow, Yuki, I'm fucking. This is. I'm gonna be in shock for months. I'm just gonna start thinking about crazy <laughs> shit that you said. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is crazy. This is crazy. I mean, I we what I thought we were gonna talk about today wasn't this uh, insane. I thought we were gonna maybe talk about hospitals, how the doctors work, maybe some of the machinery. Yeah, so, so I I wrote the show to script called the uh, dog pile. <laughs> So I put the, all of those incidents. You in like wrote a, a short script about yeah. your experiences my in a experience, mental hospital yeah. called Dogpile. Dogpile, yeah. Oh my God, Yuki. You know what? A short script's good. You should write a novel. You should do like Ken Casey did with the... Ken Casey, oh, One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest. Cuckoo's nest. Yeah. One Flew Over the Yuki, Mikey's Nest. And you should do... You should write this as a novel too, because then you can license the novel and people can make the movie. And you could also do the short. And you could all. You, this is a multimedia event picture, Yuki. I can't write the novel. Yes, you can. You, no, can, you can. speak it the way the way that you just spoke it right here. All you got to do is take those words and put it in a book, make it a short novella. I'm telling you, you this is crazy shit. What else happened? Anything? No, that's it. <laughs> Let me tell you about my hospital experience. Yeah, because I thought we were going to talk about regular hospitals. I mean, I get right. mental hospitals was going to come up, but I didn't know it was this wild, Yuki. It's like a movie. It's, it is it's like a, a movie. It's like a movie. Um, yeah. I was in a hospital once. I had this thing called cellulitis. The doctors didn't know why I got it. It's a bacterial infection that infects your blood. Wow. And I got it while I was in L.A. The doctor was like, because my leg started swelling up right. and the bottom uh, half of my leg on like my shin and stuff and uh it sort of became purple and my co-worker was like that's not good i'm taking you to the hospital like right. fucking right now so i was like all right yeah i didn't realize it was getting purple like this so we went to the hospital went to the emergency room got in that they did me tests on me they said it was cellulitis uh and they said they didn't know why right. i had gotten it it could have been from uh, a cut or a bite or a this or that. There was like a thousand reasons why right. they couldn't pinpoint why I got it. So I was fucking freaking out. And I was just like really nervous. I had never been in the hospital in my life. And the only thing that kept me calm was I was listening to the Jerky Boys. They're the prank phone calls. You know those prank phone calls, the Jerky Boys? Well, if you don't know them, they're funny. Everybody out there should okay. go listen to the Jerky Boys. But I was listening to those to calm myself down. And I'm just looking around, whatever. And then they brought me into my own private room to mm -hmm. stay overnight because they needed to keep me for two days to do, like, tests and to give me IVs and all shit. Because my leg, while I was in the hospital, from when I got there to later, it expanded, like, two, three times. And they had to get me, like, filled with all these fluids and shit to stop it from spreading. They checked everything. And then finally it subsided and they sent me home. It's and it, But it lasted, like, three weeks. I was still, they gave me all this medication. It was crazy. But while I was in the hospital, overnight, all of a sudden, it was like midnight or something, similar to what you're saying. Both nights, this guy at, would just start going down the hall. Ah! 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 Screaming. Why? Why? He must have been in pain or something. I don't know. But at both nights, same around the same time. Same guy? Same guy. Same scream. Same, like, rhythm. Ah! Ah! And I'm like, get me the fuck out of here, man. God, why ever it I got... Sounds like a mental hospital. It, it, I was mentally fucking frightened. I was just like, my, they're going to chop my leg off. They're going to take me to fucking... I'm going to be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. And this motherfucker down the road is screaming whatever the fuck he's screaming for. Life is crazy. I don't want to be in this hospital. Yeah, that was, that was fucking scary. So... Now, what do you think? Like, have you seen the coma? Yeah, I saw a coma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael Crichton's coma. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what if, you know, we can't trust the hospitals. I mean, we don't know uh, what no, they do. I am a believer in um, that hospitals are helpful overall. I mean, yeah, maybe some of it is, 
you know, the, this is tied to the pharmaceutical company. Some of it, they push certain yeah, drugs. Yeah, because if, if they did the doctor or the hospital, if they collapse, but I, I don't connect think... it to the, you know, yeah, the medic medical company. Then, you know, maybe what, slightly, but I think overall hospitals are overwhelmingly good, and the bad is small, way smaller than any good. Like for real, like I mean, I've had more good. Exp they saved my life. They saved my life. Right, right. You know. And if they hadn't done that or whatever, my father, uh, he had a, a knee surgery. And when he was coming out of the knee surgery and they were trying to get him to, like, get back on his feet and stuff, he passed out. And immediately all these fucking nurses and doctors ran in. They fucking babies basically revived him from, like, whatever the hell happened, a dizzy spell or whatever. But they were on top of it. So all these people that work there, I don't think there's really a nefarious thing going on other than maybe at the top bureaucratic level where there's, like... You know, we got to mandate X, Y, Z so that we can make X, Y, Z amount of money, that sort of thing. But I think hospitals in general are good. Mental hospitals sound sound crazy. <laughs> what you've described is like Yuki, uh, Mikey's mental hospital adventure. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy place. It's a crazy place. All right, well, that was Hospitals by Yuki and John. Uh, I know that a lot of our listeners are never going to be the right. same again. Oh, I want to ask you one thing. Oh, like, uh, uh, yeah, do, 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 do you like... Okay, if the hospital needs your organs yeah. to save another person. Oh, shit. So, Organ doning? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, did you okay them? Or, because emergency, okay. You you don't you didn't say okay, but hospital needs and you dying, and you die soon, and the hospital needs your body. Then do I do it? Do do you do it, or or you you your 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 family gets upset because that you didn't okay it. I don't how know. You get yeah, so how heavy. What should the hospital do? Should I just ignore? Should they ignore? And then just to save the another patient? Right. Ugh, it's so complicated. I, I mean, personally, I think organ doning is a beautiful thing. And whoever does it is really, really a great, special person who's uh -huh. helped another human being. For me, I start to get into the weeds of thinking about being cut open, having my shit removed. Right. That kind of stuff really freaks me out. But are you dead? So who cares? That's what I'm saying. So then I have the other side where it's like, if I'm dead and my spirit has uh, shuffled off into the next realm and I'm flying through space looking at Jupiter and Saturn and beyond, I don't think I'm going to give a fuck about my liver and shit. So Because, you know, your you, you, you organ, your you part of your body could, could live save somebody else. Somebody yeah. else then live yeah. with that person. Right, right. It's so complicated. And I don't know. I might be an organ donor. I don't know if I click the button on uh, when I... Because when I saw... You, you could do that at the DMV. And say yes. Mm. I will, I'll look at my license later and find out if I'm an organ donor. I might have done it because I remember back in the day, um, I used to go and see Phil Lesh. He's the bass player from Grateful Dead. Mm -hmm. And I used to see him do concerts called Phil Lesh and Friends where he would have different guest music musicians. Every concert he does, I saw him six or seven times. He stops at the end right. before the encore and he says, I just want to let everybody know about my friend Cody. Cody is the reason I'm alive today. He was an organ donor, and when I needed an organ, I got Cody's right. liver, and it helped me survive. So anybody out there who thinks that they might want to be an organ donor, it saves lives. Thank you, Cody. Right. Every time. So he is telling people, like, it saved my life. Without organ doning, I would not be here today doing this fucking concert for you. And I think that's a really interesting thing. Um, but again, it's so hard to think about for my my personal thing uh i'm a i'm just afraid i'm i mean i'm afraid of death anyway but then to think about being chopped open and ripped apart that's fucking scary shit man <laughs> it's scarier than the mental hospital yeah, what about I, you are you an organ donor uh, well i never signed it but if if somebody needs i don't mind i mean i'm dead already so you know right uh, 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 Take my organs, please. Yeah, if somebody, you know, if you can save somebody with my parts. Right. Uh, Frank and Yuki. Yeah. 
That's good. I like that. We should rip you apart and put you back together. Yeah. All right, that's that's hospitals. That's hospital. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the roller coaster ride you got. I don't know if I'm going to recover oh, from I'm this. Uh, but no, no, I don't the... know. But you know, since this is a state hospital, and then you know, if they somebody listen, then they might come. Nobody after knows, you. Mikey Nakamura. You're a fucking. You're a ghost. What? You're a ghost, Yuki. Nobody listens to this podcast. Let's be honest. No, they do, but but you know, not from the not from the state hospital. They're they're busy listening to Joe Rogan and shit. Actually, there was a there was a, a article in the newspaper too, so it may not be just me then. Yeah, oh, corruption is everywhere. They're, it's not like a, you're saying a new thing. It's you're just uh, corroborating the story. Right. All right, everybody, that's a buffet. Thank you to our patrons. Patreons, and yeah. thank you to our listeners. Right. All of you. our beautiful listeners. And actually, you know, I, I disparaged the audience, by ju- but I was just saying that, you know, if you listen to us and you like us, uh, don't turn Yuki in for what he said on this podcast today. I mean, Mikey. Don't turn Mikey in. <laughs> Mikey Nakamura, who does not live in Brooklyn, who did not work in the entertainment industry, who never worked at a mental hospital. All right, thank you all. Thank we'll you see you next it. time. See you next time. At the Buff A. Buffet. Yuki and John's